Hi guys and welcome back to SCS JNC UK's channel and what can I say, it's two days away from Christmas Day um, and we're all hyped, we're all pretty much hyped unless you're in a terrible economic situation and you have no presents and all those kinds of things so you'll just spend your time with your family which is again pretty nice I don't know why I said that, I just wanted to compensate for everybody that might be watching but anyway, um, that sounded really weird I get the first blood and I didn't realise it was the start of the game because I just sort of joined a hardcore team deathmatch and I, I, I didn't know if it just started which I then realized it has just started so I'm using the Scar H one of my favorite weapons with fast mag uh, the suppressor and the adjustable stock which is something I always use and I think it's uh, on my cool sign at this gameplay but talking of cool signs um, my following gameplay which will be on Christmas Day is a very special one because you'll see why um, it partially relates to this gameplay. Uh, in this gameplay, I go on a relentless kill streak, which is 20 kills and more with your gun or equipment. Uh, basically, all of your kills except for kill streaks. So um, you can't just get like a swarm and get over 50 kill streak. It just doesn't work that way. So um, I get relentless metal. And you need three of them to get a call sign, which is a weird looking call sign with a skull and things. But um, there is a hidden one, and I picked that up, and I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about by now. But in case you don't, you will see on Christmas Day what I'm talking about. And then I bring out a really good gameplay for you guys. A true present and a true episode special on my channel. And I have been looking at my subscriber count, and it really has not moved in the last month or two. Which is a shame, because I was going to be going on this big YouTube channel, uh, big YouTuber's channel, and um, he, he hasn't replied to me, which is a shame. Because he could literally make or break my channel. It could be the difference between 200 subs, which is about what it is at the moment, and 1,200 subs, or who knows how many I could have got from that. But I, I probably would have doubled in size in terms of channel uh, subscribers, which is a shame because he hasn't replied to me. Uh, you, you guys know that I post really good quality gameplay in terms of both the quality and the scores that I receive. Um, of course, we're all human. We don't get um, all the YouTubers that I know. We all seem to be reasonably struggling on Black Ops 2 Wii U at the moment, with the Wiimote at least. I know that... Um, People like Ella Rirar and Dazran 303 have all had a bit of struggling to do with this game, which has been a shame because this is a really good game. I must admit, it's pretty balanced. There are the odd exceptions, like the pistols are extremely overpowered. Uh, two in particular, uh, or just one, is that three burst pistol is unbelievably OP, overpowered. So um, I, it's it's annoying. Um, the knifing's been reduced, I think, uh, at its optimal point. Um, the, the game is just overly balanced, in my opinion, that is. I mean, others may find, say, the KSG or shotguns slightly overpowered, or you might think the submachine guns are overpowered. But that that's your view. I, I personally think that the game is pretty balanced. Um, I do actually have one particularly good... Um, submachine gun in my opinion is the MSMC which is extremely powerful and then uh, you have your favorite assault rifles which in my case um, the last one you are lock and then the one before that the two one's a four burst weapon and one is sort of similar to the AK-47 then I also have the Scar H and the Type 25 I also don't mind the MTAR. I'm basically li just listing all the weapons in the game. Because in all fairness, I can probably play with almost all of them. And I say almost, because there is exceptions. I'm not, the, I'm not brilliant with shotguns. And it's almost impossible to snipe with a Wiimote. So I can't really use snipers either. Um, I am pretty decent when I come to analog stick sniping. Um, that's if I get a pro controller, which I should. I'm just reminding someone, I need my Pro Controller. But um, if I do get my Pro pro Controller, you'll probably see a bit more sniping on my uh, channel. And I don't know how I killed my friend there. I, I threw a grenade and it blew up the car, which was a shame. Uh, also, I just realized my kill streaks aren't in a particularly good order. I currently have UAV, which is what essential for hardcore team deathmatch. But I also have counter UAV, 
which is pretty stupid. I also have the Orbital VSAT, which you will see twice in this gameplay. And then here comes another long range battle, and I lose. And I just realize at this point, pretty much, that long range is not a good idea. Uh, but it's okay, five minutes, five minutes, gone, another five minutes. So, Christmas Day, two days. Uh, gonna have a Christmas special on Christmas Day. Hope you guys can tune into that. Um, but I'm wondering what presents you, you guys think or will be getting for Christmas. Um, of course, the best way for Christmas presents to be arrived is if you have no idea what they're going to be. However, I have an idea that what my presents are going to be. There's, there's one that I definitely know because I had to buy it with my dad. Um, it was on offer. It was on Curry's and it's a um, DSLR camera, digital SLR basically. Uh, pretty high up in the range. It's not that expensive because there was an offer on it. So I have the lens and I'm actually quite a keen photographer and filmmaker. So um, I hopefully you can see a bit of what I can what I can see in future through one of my special videos I did, which was the Wii U New Era Prologue. That was something I really enjoyed doing. It was sort of a little montage that I made along with a little intro at the beginning. And I find that really sort of interesting. It's definitely got quite a couple of views and one of the most amount of likes that I've had in recent months. So that, that that's just sort of a small COD related bit of my sort of skill, I guess you could say, in filmmaking. I guess um, in the majority of things I'm actually pretty good at stuff. That's what I've heard. Um, but please, in my next video, I'd love to know what you guys have got. What If, say, if you're like Mr. Danzer X and you're hoping to get a Wii U for Christmas, then let's hope you get a Wii U. You'll be kind of disappointed if you don't. I'm pretty sure you get a Wii U and then I'll add you. But say, um, yeah, just, just tell me. I'm really, actually, really interested in what you guys are getting. Uh, please don't tell me you're going to get a Nerf gun or something. I mean, uh, seven-year-olds and eight. Even though I do know one person at my school who's in my, in my year and he gets he's got this whole c entire collection of Nerf guns and you just think, oh, dear God. But I pick off someone here. A long range, I get a merciless medal, which is 10 kills, and I get the orbital VSAT and caught in straight away. And the orbital VSAT, especially in this in this particular game, but it's actually very useful. It's so much better than the advanced UAV from Modern Warfare 3 and the Blackbird from Black Ops 1. Because the Blackbird from Black Ops 1 gave you sort of bursts of where they would be looking, whereas this particular one, which is the orbital VSAT, shows you a live sort of uplink, so to say, of where they're looking and where what position they are instead of bursts. Say like the UAV, the UAV has a burst. It, it, it sort of hover, it scans the map, so to say. So I would highly recommend this particular kill streak if you're just starting out and you think you can reach it. So my orbital VSAT runs out, or it doesn't, I can't remember, it seems to be still going, but then I bring in my UAV and it, we, we're still seeing where they are. And then I get a ruthless medal, and I, I, I can't believe my luck at the moment, I bring in another um, one and I get some cool sign for it, I don't know. <sighs> okay, a lot of talking, 8 minutes straight. You know, you, you don't realise how tough it is actually to do these commentaries it's kind of tiring and then I pick him off <sighs> need to catch my breath even though I'm not like unfit or anything even though most people at my school would probably say that <sighs> so I'm actually not going to be getting any other games this is pretty much the only game you're going to be seeing on my channel for a little bit I will be posting um, some games in after this year, in March, I think, is when my most interested game comes out, uh, which is LEGO City Undercover, and I actually really want to get that, and I think I said my reasons in my previous video, which I hope you guys will watch, because it seems to be reasonably unviewed at the moment. It only has seven likes, which in retrospect to my entire YouTube, uh, not so career, but my, my most recent videos, uh, is quite a low amount of likes, and see the same guy camping there again. Uh, but I scan around, I think it's coming towards the end of the gameplay in terms of the score, and I get my relentless medal. And do I kill this guy? No, I only get hit markers on him, unfortunately. 
And that's when the game ends. What my score? 32 and 6, I think it is. A 5.33 KD ratio. Hope you guys enjoyed this hardcore team deathmatch. It's part of my roots on my channel. So I was happy to give you a 20 kill streak gameplay in this. Uh, my next video will be on Christmas Day. Hope you guys will tune into that. It will be a very special one, and I will see you guys then.